Hello everybody and welcome back to Hiveless Heroes in Kenshi. In the previous episode, we said hello to Revubra and Danger, our two new super soldiers, both of whom have attacked in the 60s. They are officially our best fighters by far, and we got those through the Recruitable Prisoners mod, which is pretty damn nifty if you ask me. Now, I would like to pick myself up some more uh, guys, but for whatever reason, the mod seems to have glitched out, and I can no longer actually communicate with these guys. I took their clothes off and put in their inventory, as per suggestions online, and I've made sure they're all disarmed, but for whatever reason, I can't actually talk to them. Um, so if anybody knows how that works, and uh, how I could get that to be the case, where I could speak to them again, then please do let me know. I've run the game for about a day in-game, and no luck. Just can't talk to them. Don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, any advice to that effect would be greatly imp uh, appreciated because, yeah, I mean, sure, we got two, but I'd like to get eight, you know. Uh, a pack of really competent hive soldiers would uh, make all the difference when going up against the Holy Nation. So, we need to head on up into World End once again and get Sign a new leg, and uh, I believe Bo Simon needs a left arm. Yeah, that's right. Companion actually is carrying around a leg of ours, it's a right scout leg. Um, oh, which used to belong to our overlord Beep, but unfortunately he has uh, since been relinquished of it. Oh no, I I'm, I'm mistaken. That belonged to Bug Boy, not Beep. Oh god, I can't, I can't see anything. These stupid, this camera can be really frustrating sometimes. It's so restrictive. Uh, like I get why they did it, so you can't just scout the map, you know, with your characters, but at the same time, in terrain like this, it just makes it basically impossible to function because I can't zoom out far enough. Like, the zoom out distance is based on, you know, your height relative to sea level, I think, and, you know, not the actual terrain. Because now I can zoom out a bit higher, but over here, I'm, like, stuck on... Yeah, as in, you know, what am I trying to say? It's uh, based on your walking terrain, not this terrain. I should be able to zoom out based on this terrain, and I can't, which is real damn annoying. I could come put those bug guys in here maybe, and try and recruit them from here. That's always an option. Okay, so Kevin is carrying our good friend. Let's, uh, what's her name? Sign. Let's go get her. Uh, I don't mind getting her an economy leg or something if we have to. It's 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 really neither here nor there to me. Um, she needs a left leg. That's a pretty cheap one. Sign. It is left leg, right? Yes. Left, right, left, yes. That's a right leg. Okay, so the most affordable leg at present is this one. Congratulations. I can't afford it. Oh, God, I can't afford it. Okay, uh, sign. You need to be selling... What? What do you mean no room for that item? Sign. Sell this. Thank you. There we go. Do I have enough cash monies now? I do. Just barely. Excellent. Perfect. Sign. She has a limb. Look at her. Wow, she's a fully-fledged woman again. Okay, you, head back to the base. Please and thank you. And uh, live your best life down there. Just just get close, you'll, you'll do the rest of the running on your own. Oh, what's this? Goat herders camp. Ah, huh. that's some free food if we ever need it. Okay, Kevin, let's talk. Let's talk shop here. We need to get a left arm for Book Simon, right? Left. 12,000 cat monies, 8,000 for that one. Now, we have a whole bunch of these authentic skeleton repair kits we can sell, as well as a broadsword. So, we're going to... Oh, I gotta get closer. Come here. Come on over. Come on over, little guy. There we go. Okay, 12,000. Let's sell these and these. There we go. That's mad money. I do not need that many authentic skeleton repair kits. So, let's go ahead and get Book Simon the best arm money can buy him, which will be this specialist grade one here. No? Left arm. Oh, that's a right arm. Ah, oh, that's the one. That's the one. I pulled, picked up the wrong thing. Oh, Book Simon, you're going to have to come here now. Oh. oh, man. Come on. Yes. There we go. Okay. Perfect. How much does that affect your crossbow skill? Uh, it doesn't. Excellent. Okay. Now that that's done, it's time to go exploring. We're going to head out into the universe and uh, make our way in this world. Oh, I forgot we have the storm house. We should bring stuff here to sell from time to time. That could that could be some, some decent passive income. Okay. Everybody, it is time to wander on down. 
I think today we're going to make an expedition into the Cannibal Plains, beat up some cannibal squads, and uh, make some money. Let's go see what we can uh, dig out of the uh, terrain around there. Because uh, we can't quite take on the Holy Nation just yet. That's just really not on the table for us. So the best we can do is to sort of just bring everybody. Come on over here, maybe. Let's just meet up on these crossroads. And then we'll head out from there. Okay. Can we talk to these bugs? I need to come and check this every now and then. No, we can't. And I, I don't know why. It's really weird. Um, Whammo, what are you doing? You do farming. It's important. But you're only bug boy, so you're coming to pick them up, please. You're going to pick up this one. And Bwamo, you're going to run up to World's End. Off you go. Enjoy your day. Okay, that should get his strength up, too. Let's keep moving this way. Bwamo is going to go on that long journey. Is Sign back in town? Yes, she is. Turret guarding. Why? Sign, you should presumably be making... Oh, wait, yeah. We need to make some dust witches. I had this the this cooking stove set up to make dust witches, but that's probably no longer an option because I'm assuming yeah, we're all out of cacti. We can't grow them here, so I was just using up the ones we got. Okay, cool. So stop making that and keep making dried meat. Repeat the queue. Awesome. You should do that. Carrion's making it. Very nice. Uh, once we get some more books, we're going to spend him and oh, let's go. Okay, yeah, as I was going to say, at once we get some more books, we're going to spend them at... Oh my god, here's our first cannibals. Hey, how's that for timing? Perfect. Alright, gentlemen, we should be able to take these. It's pretty much, uh, it's more than one-on-one, -on -one, and we've got the spider. So we should be just fine. Are you loading up? What's happening here? Okay, you're about to shoot Book Simon in the head, so you, could you please be smarter about your fighting? Thank you kindly. Yeah, let's get our crossbowmen trained up. Excellent. Hey, we are chopping through these dudes no problemo. Oh, they've got attack in the 16th. Oh, right, we removed the Cannibals Expanded mod, so these guys are way less tough now. That's right, Infinite Wingman just missed completely. Alright, well, hey, that's a bit of a success. Cool, Kang. Time for you to loot. We're gonna pick up all these weapons and we'll be selling them uh, along the way. This is all part of the process. Hey, that's actually a pretty good one. We'll keep that one. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's another good one. Okay, let's throw these on Companion. And uh, be on our way. Oh, here's another good one. Companion, move. Kev, come in here, buddy. We're gonna get this. There we go. Oh, there's two of them. Wow. There's another cannibal. Hey, that's neither of those are half bad weapons. Cool, let's walk. Oh, actually, we're gonna take Foxy with us. Um, I usually leave him here to defend the base, but on this one, I'm going to need a lot of carrying capacity. So, Foxy boy... You are coming with us. You're going to drop those on the floor as well as those electronics components. And uh, this fishing net and this fishing rod. We don't need it right now. Come on through. We'll take the uh, repair kits because, hey, you never know. Maybe we can use them. Okay, close the door. Foxy boy, I have an idea for you, though. Come here to the edge of this cliff. And we're going to put a whole bunch of food in you. Just like this. Okay, perfect. That'll help us keep track of our uh, eating. Oh, and Foxy, you need to go into the correct squad, don't you? Yes. There we go. Excellent. Everyone should eat out of his backpack. Cool. Bwamo, have you arrived, brother? No, not quite. What are you doing? Head on into town. Stop being stupid. Okay. Perhaps that was unduly harsh. I feel no remorse. Okay, let World's End load up, and let's move. Alright, our trek into the Cannibal Plains begins. Is it this direction? It is. So let's head on south. Lovely. Okay, now who is our slowest member, just so I have that information on lock? It is, at present, Horse. Horse, is there a particular reason for that? You're not encumbered, you're just the slowest runner. Okay, cool. Everybody, we are going to follow Horse... Horse, keep pace. Let's go. Oh, right, is Kang the slowest person now, or is he going to keep up? Was he just was he just behind? It seems to me like Kang is actually the slowest runner here. Kang, is there a reason for that? Are you injured? Just slightly encumbered. That's all. Okay, cool. Let's go, Kang. 
what are we going to be hunting down? Uh, are you there? Yes, you are. Excellent. Whammo. I want you to come and I need to test this out real quick. Put him in this cage and see if you can recruit the man. Because if we have to bring him up here, we have to bring him up here. I really, really want these hive soldiers. They're basically like living super weapons. Okay, so what's going to happen now? We'll leave Whammo there and just come and check on him in a second. If anybody knows how I can fix the no talky talky bug, I would really appreciate it. Um, okay, I, I would, it's easier with a group this small. It's easier just to, you know, just to run them together like this. Oh, what do we have here? Some shrieking bandits. How many of them? These guys usually run in pretty big packs. Oh, it begins. Never mind. Guess we don't have a choice. Oh, we have a moaning samurai to speak to. Sure, Margot, come and speak to the gentleman. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Are they going to get hostile? Uh, okay, okay. Ah, gurgle, gurgle, yarp, yeah. Are they trying to fight? No, they're not. Let's try that one more time. Kevin. Ah! It's a pleep! Yeah! Oh shit, I've offended them. Oh no, that was a mistake. I thought I could like be their friend or something. Oh. Oh my god. Kevin. Buddy. These guys are good. Okay, our only hope is for the spiders to put down the big boys before it's too late. You gotta put down that moaning samurai and they've done it. The absolute mad lads. They've actually done it. See, these modded enemies might not be recruitable uh, with the mod because uh, their modifiers might not be in game. I, I'm not sure. Um, I was actually quite worried that those caravans would be uh, unrecruitable, but that was not an issue. Who were you even attacking? Whoa. I've never noticed that before. That's very pink. Ah, huh, cool. Okay. Well, Kevin. Um, ouch. Is Kang down? He is not. He is patching infinite wing wang. Could you please patch Kevin? Uh, we cannot have our big boy dying. Okay, who's got me a decent sized backpack? Okay, cool. We did that. But we only did it because um Well yeah, basically we only we only managed to we only managed to survive that because of our, our spiders. So we need to be very careful of shrieking bandits in the future. Okay, let's let's bring it back together and head over this way. Let's just get away from those dudes. What have we got here? Another shrieking bandit. Is he hostile? He is not. Good to know. Good to know. There's a village this way. I wanna I wanna approach that and see what that's about. Um, we should probably take Kevin back to heal, but for now I'm fine with it. Buamo, is this bugman speakable now? He is not, and he no longer belongs to us. Okay, cool. Bugman, you may go back to the base. Probably should not have done that with one of the high-end dudes. In hindsight. Huh. It's so weird that I can't talk to them. Maybe if I give them food? Is that a thing? Janko, take a whole bunch of bread. You're gonna, you're gonna do the food rounds here. One for him. Did that do it? Have some bread. Have your daily bread, my brothers. We are all hive here. We are all hive friends. Everyone here is hive friend. Please be friend of hive. All right, sorry for the weird jump cut there. I just had to uh, mosey on towards the cannibal village. And oh, there's a whole bunch of shrieking bandits over here. Maybe we can kite those dudes into the cannibals. That would be really useful. Let's bring everybody over here and uh, pause. I had to, uh, sorry, sorry for the jump cut there. I had to help Aisha bring in some groceries. Um, Let's attack these dudes. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, kite him, kite him, kite him. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, you stupid shits. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, okay, let's keep him close this time, keep him nice and close. We're just doing this, okay, I'm, I'm giving myself anxiety doing this on three times speed. Let's go to uh, two times speed. And drag these dudes into the cannibal. Oh, the cannibal's already being attacked? By whomst? I do wonder. But there we go. Okay, let's bring him. 
Let's bring him through here. There we go. Okay, we're going to leave. And we're going to loot those cannibals later. That should keep them good and busy. Oh, no, no, never mind, Book Simon. You are apparently the primary cause today for everybody involved here. Let's just see some more damage uh, points going away. Oh, we got a cannibal raid heading out. Could we intercept it? It's from down there. Yeah, we could intercept that. Be kind of fun to intercept it in the field. I've, uh, I don't think I've actually ever done that in Kenshi. Okay, who's winning this fight? Is it the cannibals or the, the streaking bandits? I think the streaking bandits are winning. Um, also, we got to keep our eyes out for the cannibal leader here. He'll be bigger, fatter, uglier, and worth 10,000 cats in bounty. They always are. So, uh, worth, worth paying attention to. Um, the cannibals are definitely the easier ones to take down of this lot, because we got the Shrieking Bandits expansion mod installed, and that makes these dudes, like, stupid tough. As we've seen, I mean, they can, they can lay down the hurt, you know? The hurt. Are you out of ammo? I don't, I was about to say, I don't think you are. Okay, now we can bring you back to the crew. Alright, let's try and take on this small group of, uh, of freak, screaming bandits. Definitely can't take on all of them. But they are slightly injured now, at least, you know, at least hit in a couple places. That'll, that'll make it easier. Yeah, and those ones have given up. Excellent. So, uh, spiders, welcome to your new day. Yeah, danger coming in here with that, uh, that fish katana. Shredding these dudes like butter. Lovely. All right, let's bring everybody back. Is anybody on hold now? No. Good. 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 So you can normally see the cannibal leaders by their colors. They're normally a lot darker. Okay, what's going on here? The cannibals, have they won their fight with the shrieking bandits? Oh, they're fighting other cannibals, not other shrieking bandits. Oh, I thought they were fighting shrieking bandits. Okay, let's keep rolling on down the hill here. Oh, 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 blood. Let's keep it moving down the hill. We're just going to slowly attack these dudes as they come at us one by one. Real easy. If we spot the cannibal chief, then we'll get him. If we don't, we don't. I mean, he's worth 10,000 cats, so it's definitely a bounty that's worth paying attention to, you know. But uh, if we don't see him, we don't see him, you know. It's not the end of the world. Book Simon and uh, Hater laying down covering fire here for us. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, could you put down this dude? He's probably lying on the floor here somewhere. I mean, if I see him, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll loot him. But if I don't see him, I don't see him. Oh, Cannibal Chief. Uh, he's a Cannibal Chief, but he hasn't got a bounty. Sometimes they don't. Um, yeah, sometimes they just don't. His horse down? Oh, right, yeah. He got knocked out. Okay, he's normal, though. We can put him down. Let's get him fighting. Horse, get in there. Once more into the fray, dear friend. Also, of course, could you take that guy's cleaver? It's a high-quality one. Yeah, it's worth a thousand. Nice. Okay, we're just sort of in general melee now with another group of uh, bone eater tribe who's come through. Uh, who do these belong to? The Blood Reavers. Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a different faction. Everybody over here is doing okay. Can we... Uh, let's quickly zoot back to base. Can we... Buamo. Did we ever get... No. Why didn't you go back to the base? Go back to the base, you weirdo. Back to the base, come on. Come on. Oh, crash. Ah, shit. Crashed. Crash, crash, crashed. Damn it. Alright, the, uh, unfortunately, this was the next save, so uh, we're having to go back, but we're going to have to force load the game over here so that our damn base doesn't uh, crash us every freaking time we snap back to it. Because uh, basically, what's happening is. Uh, well, I mean, you know what's happening. It's just it's trying to load too much into memory at once, and it can't handle it. The game, that is. So we're just going to follow Buamo as he uh, zoots on over back to the base, because a more gradual approach should prevent the crash from occurring. Um, and then also we can do the classic old Shift F12 and fix stuff. Nothing needed fixing. A likely story. Come on in. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're being assaulted gratuitously. By big things. Uh, of course. My least favorite of things. Um, Kevin can be placed down. He's alive. Horse, could you come here with your backpack? 
and take this meat for everybody to eat. Thank you. Very good job. Oh, we could have potentially uh, recruited that big thing. We do have the Tame Beasties mod installed. Do I want a big thing? Oh, I kind of do want a big thing, to be honest. Maybe we should get some big things. Get like an army of big things. Here's another one. An adult one. Yeah, we could get a big thing. Who wants to get a big thing? Um, this thing's pretty beat up. Let's pick it up. Kevin, trade with companion real quick. Get yourself a couple more med kits. You're going to need them. Because you're going to first aid a big thing. Uh, huh. Are you doing it? Yes, you are. Foxy boy, could you move? I want, I want to see this thing. I mean, yeah, that's that's eaten through the charges, you know? Although it's not nearly as bad as I thought it might be. Yeah, we only used, like, not even a few charges on that. That's that's pretty good. Uh, we can get another one. <laughs> we get a couple big things. I mean, why not, right? What's their hunger rate? 165%. That's not... It might be because he's in a recovery coma. Um, Kevin, go ahead and first aid this one. All right, well, we know we've attacked this cannibal base, um, and as you guys can see, it's just, it's, it's, ah, we've attacked it. I don't want to do it two times in a row. Well, I suppose we could try it again, but, uh, if we, we kited in those, uh, those other ones the other time. You know what, let's, let's run Kevin in there. Maybe we can just, like, super speed run it, um, in through here and loot up their boxes, because that's the real benefit. I don't have to kill off this cannibal base. I'm not doing, like, an anti-cannibal playthrough or anything. I'm just trying to steal their stuff. So we got a Hachigani there. We're just going to have to do the old uh, constant right click. We got some questionable meat. Ooh, some samurai cloth pants. Nice. Let's take those. A book. I'll take the book. I'll take the cats. 770. That's not bad. Um, take the Drifter's leather jacket, I suppose. That's pretty good armor. Come on through here. Okay. Let's go through into this base. I'm basically just running past these guys. Ooh. High grade trader's leathers. Nice. Uh, we could take the meat, but I'm, I, I don't care. I think, well, Kevin will eat it, actually, if we take it right now, so. Let's go ahead and eat that. Yeah, there we go. He ate it. <gasps> oh, my God. Those are really good weapons. Mark IV and a Mark V swords. That's incredible. Let's give ourselves the Mark V. Take the cats. Take the books. Please take the books. No room for that item. Will they not stack? There we go, they stacked. What was the problem? Okay, we got one more. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out real fast. Come on, Kevin. You're pulling a small army with you, buddy. What have we got in here? Let's go loot this one. The fact that you could pause and loot is just such a just such a stupid feature. I know it's not really a feature as much as it is me just sort of gaming the system here, but it's pretty stupid. We got some assassin's rags. Ah, we don't need those. Um, some mercenary plate, shoddy grade. Don't really need that. This is nice to have picked up. Uh, I think I'll take... Uh, you know what? I'll actually... I would I would probably just rather trade the uh, mercenary plate for that. Because we can put that on our uh, review bra and danger. Because they don't have particularly good armor on right now. Okay, run away. Run away, Kevin. Run away. Ah! Run! Okay, cool. So we looted that cannibal village. Um, are any of you guys the leader since we're here now? No... Uh, no. Oh, there's a cannibal chief. You're just a cannibal. Mm. Nah. Got a cannibal chief, but he's got no bounty on him, so he's not really worth anything to us. Alright, you lot, are you ready? We're going to be eating cannibal for breakfast. Let's attack him. Is anybody on block? Because that was such a weird bug. Uh, I don't know what that was about. Um, whoa. Okay, Foxy, just... Doing your thing again. Damn. You know, I, I both love and hate that spiders mod. They are so ridiculously overpowered. But at the same time, you know, makes me feel good. Makes me feel good being able to... Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what you guys are hunting, but just stop it. Um, you're hunting that cannibal? Okay, cool. Do that. Uh, this is so stupid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Um, I don't know. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Oh, I mean, I suppose that's what it is. He probably would carry it by the head, but oh, uh, okay. Okay, let's hit save so that we don't get we don't hit another crash there. Sure, sure. Let's hit save on that. Thank you. Ah, uh, that's hilarious. Oh, it's beyond hilarious. Okay. Oh, wipe away my tears, man. Let's head back in. What? What was that? Oh, it's just the beak things clipping around. Well, that's, that's that one's definitely snapped a neck. That's for sure. Okay, so we did a very brief but successful raid into the cannibal area. I'm uh, I'm 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 tired. I've this is like that that crash just sort of. I'll be honest, it kind of winded me a bit. I'm uh, I'm a bit done with Kenshi for now. So I, we're probably going to call that an episode. Let's see if we can re um, recruit these these bug boys here. Nope, still not. If anybody knows what that's about, please please do let me know in the comments below. Because if I could get another five or six uh, review bras and dangers, that would be real cool for me. Um, the, did they eat their bread? Or did I end up... Did I give them bread? I don't remember if... Did, I don't think I gave them food, did I? I don't think I did, no. Um, Whammo, could you please come pick up this fishing rod? Hello, thank you, and the fishing net, thank you, and you can go and put that back on Foxy, trade with him, yeah, we'll make a mission up to the Leviathan coast at some point, and, uh, you know, all the way, all the way up here, do some looting in this area, there's some real good ruins we can dig into, um, there's some interesting, like, I don't know what these are, this big creature, I'd like to go check that out, I just noticed it on the map, we can go back through the purple sands and the berserker country, Although this looks like Shrieking Bandit territory, and those guys are scary. Alright, fast forward like 20 minutes of uh, unnecessary talking, and to cut down this episode, I'm just going to go over what happened. I threw these here birdie boys inside the cages, and we picked them up. The first one was named Polly as a joke, and uh, because the dialogue for it is, does Polly want a cracker? And the second one is named Assyrian, um, as another kind of joke, I guess. Oh, any problems we have apparently save, fixed by saving and reloading? Yeah, they need to eat. And uh, not my ration packs. God damn it. Don't eat my freaking ration packs. Stupid things. They eat a lot of food. All the time. Their hunger rate is like 400%. So I don't know how long we're going to keep these things. They might just be a bit of a meme, really. Um, uh, yeah, we might just, you know, end up sending them out into the wilderness with, like, themselves and one person with a backpack full of food to go and just munch. But yeah, that is that for now. Um, I'm pretty happy with our current setup. I think that we've done pretty well. Uh, I've gone ahead and have researched advanced cooking as well, by the way, which allows us to make meat wraps. So now we are having some delicious burritos on the menu. Okay, so that's uh, that's kind of it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with today. I keep saying that. I'm so tired. This game's crashed on me like three times. Uh, it's doing it again. It's doing the thing. I hate, I hate the thing. Let's go ahead and snap all the fixed stuff. Nothing needs fixing. Cool. Good enough for me. I'll take it. Anyway, guys, that has been Hiveless Heroes episode 17. I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.